Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. What is good? Okay, so quick message for you guys, all right, before I wrap this up. So this message is for somebody who have experienced a lot of betrayals, okay? Um, you really are, you may not even be in contact with anybody from your past. So like our old friendships have died off. Old relationships have died off. You experience like a lot of um betrayals at the hands of um people that you love you trusted you know things like that you know and like maybe you question spirit as to like how come i have been betrayed by everybody in my life for the most part like this is i feel like whatever this karmic lesson is is this is to get you closer to some type of victory all right um you were contracted to learn certain lessons and there is something that you were contracted to experience in this lifetime. And these people were going to rob you, all right? These friends, these family members, this particular lover, anybody that you are not dealing with right now, whether this person betrayed you, they ghosted you, if the relationship, the friendship, the partnership just died off, no communication, just kind of like in a cutthroat manner. You never got any closure. Like you don't even really know what happened. Divine stepped in, all right, to rid these people out of your life. Spirit is telling me that these people are materialistic. They would have used you for some blessing that divine has for you. Some type of blessing that you are contracted to have that they're not contracted to have this blessing here. You guys, were, you guys are, um, you're going to, you're supposed to win in this lifetime. It's something that maybe you're supposed to win back. Okay. You're supposed to have victory. You're supposed to have success in this particular lifetime. Yeah. I feel like it's been a, a very long journey. A lot of you guys are like, you're very tired. You're, you're getting very, you know, fatigued or some of you guys are just lonely because, you know, people who you started this journey out with or they fell off. All right. They're, you're no longer in communication with these people. Like they showed their ugly their ugly selves to you and the connection ended, you know, I feel like you guys are um, being guided. Like you have a lot of spiritual guidance with animal spirit guide. Some of you guys could have lost a pet recently. Somebody specifically could have lost a cat. I heard a cat. This cat is with you. Um, it really could be any, any animal here, but I did particularly hear a cat. All right. But if you've recently lost a animal, this, this is like your one of your spirit buddies. Like they are guiding you. Somebody's dog was Buddy or something like that. But somebody's dog name was Buddy. But yeah, you got you guys are contracted to experience certain wins and certain victories. And these people just would have robbed you. That's what they were gonna do. Maybe that's what they were contracted to do to take something from you, like. I'm getting that, you know, this is your karmic justice for, for these people to not get to experience some type of win. They're not supposed to experience some type of win or some type of victory with you. This is karmic justice. These people could have stolen something from you in the past or this particular person could have stolen something from you guys in the in the previous lifetime or in this lifetime particular. You know, maybe y'all just found out this person's true colors here, but... You know, this is the scales literally being balanced here. It's justice for these people not to be in your life right now. That's their karma for real, okay? Because I, I look, I feel like the universe is going to put these people in a very complex situation with their finances, all right? Their finances are about to be bind up. Like, they're about to be, like, money about to be tight for these people. It's about to be very, get very complicated. And what they were going to do, they were going to try to steal from you. They were, they're going to try to, like, rob from you because you guys are going to be having it maybe they view you as materialistic or whatever this big blessing is coming in they're going to feel like maybe you're materialistic or you know you're not going to be able to hide what god is doing for you you're not going to be able to hide hide these blessings in this next season and these very people who are no longer connected to you they're no longer associated with you they already betrayed you or maybe y'all just stopped talking for real like y'all didn't fall out of nothing you just stopped talking these people are users or whenever this karma hit them they're going to attempt to use you because i see them being in some type of financial bind 
All right. And maybe y'all always get these people out of complicated situations. So divine move these people out of your life, move this person out of your life um, so that you wouldn't assist them getting them out of a, karm a karmic situation or getting them out of complex, complicated situation here. Yeah, something going to go on with these people's money. All right, their security, right? And see, your ancestors have been guiding you or they guided you away from this person, away from this group, or, you know, they just been working behind the scenes on your behalf here. You may have a very strong connection to your loved ones, your cross, crossed over loved ones, your, you know, your passed on loved ones. They're guiding you guys. They're protecting you. Yeah, because I'm telling you, like, these people kept a lot of nasty secrets from you. Somebody's friend was fake as hell. They kept a lot of secrets from you. Somebody's lover was fake, a fraud, a phony, a thief. They kept a lot of secrets from you guys as well. But highway to hell is here in betrayal. Look, can't make it up. These people going to hell. I'm sorry. And I know I don't have a heaven and hell to put nobody in. But I'm just I'm just the messenger. These people, like the, the path that they're going on currently is, is taking leading them straight towards a highway to hell. These are karmics. These are karmics, y'all, and these people have already betrayed you, and they, especially when this big blessing came in, they would have continued to betray you. They would have did something to you that would have sent them straight to hell. So in order to um, protect you, come back this, this issue, or block this particular betrayal that this friend or this lover was going to do on your heart, execute you. Somebody was going to execute you for money. Like, I don't know what this next big win is. But you're going to have a lot of money. Like, you're you going to be, look, you're going to be wearing your wealth, some of y'all. Like, it's it's going to be hard to miss that you're blessed. Somebody was going to, like, literally try to execute you for your finances or do something to you, okay, that was going to send them straight to hell. Somebody, I heard spirits say they was going to bust hell wide open. All right, look at that. Didn't I say your ancestors protecting you? It says grandma's prayers. It says your grandmother's prayers still protect you, acting as a guardian from beyond. Her love and strength shield you, reminding you that you're never alone. Her spirit continues to watch over you, a testament of her enduring care. She got the Bible in one arm and the pistol in another one. Yeah, with ancestral protection, ancestral connection here. Y'all, this is your, your, your ancestors, particularly your grandmother, remove certain people out of your life. Fake friends, fake phony lovers, using love, using conniving, manipulative, scheming lovers and friends and family members who, because I'm getting, they can see beyond the veil because they're already in the spirit. So they know what these people got planned for you. They know what this person would have done to you, what this friend would have did to you when this, when this money came in or when this blessing came in and this opportunity came in. They knew what this lover would have did to you, okay, or whoever this is. And your grandmother stepped in and was just like, no, ma'am, no, let's, let me get this person away from my child. And that's what happened. There was going to be a very betrayal, that a very big betrayal, okay, this person was going to betray you to the point where, honestly, for some of y'all, it was going to actually cost you your life. This person was going to do something to call somebody in the collective their life or attempt to do this. And this is this is somebody who already probably going to hell anyway. I ain't trying to be funny, but betrayal and highway to hell, whatever this betrayal was, was going to send them to hell. And spirit is telling me that the path that this karmic is already on, they're already probably headed there any damn way. So your grandma came in and literally removed this, this fake friend, this frenemy out of your life or this false lover out of your life. Okay. Or, so if you're wondering why, because it's, it's about your divine contract. Y'all are contracted to win. Y'all are contracted to do some major things, to to make to win some major battles, to um to experience luxury, to experience happiness, to have wealth on every level of your life. You know, you could be a star seed. So you and them are not the same anyway. So y'all have a lot of people that's just jealous of you, envious of you for no reason. For no reason here, but guess what? Your grandma saw this. You, your grandmother knows 
who's jealous of you. She she hears their thoughts. You know, she know what these people's next move is, what they're planning on doing. And she removed this person or these people out of your life to protect you. To protect you. And, and maybe the contract is over between you and these people anyway. Maybe you served as a lesson to this particular person or this particular group or whoever this is. And the contract is over. Yeah, look at that walking away. The contract is over. You you were called to walk away or divine or your ancestors made this person walk away. All right. I heard the, the better the best thing for this person to do is walk away. Because if they would have did whatever this was they was think they was thinking about doing to you, whatever this portrayal was that they were thinking about doing to you, this was gonna send them straight to hell. And baby, your grandma and the spirit was gonna was gonna help them get there. Dang. Woo. Somebody ain't playing. This could have been a karmic spouse. Y'all, this could have been a, a partner, somebody that you was in love with and you found out this person was a karmic here. This person is a monitoring spirit. Yeah, this person is a monitoring spirit. They could be a, they could be a fallen angel because it was in reverse. You yourself could be an actual earth angel. Yeah, this person still monitors you. They still watch you. This person was going to betray you. They was going to do something to leave you in a desolate place. This could have actually caused you to lose everything, including your life. All because this person don't want to see you win. They didn't want to see you have something. They didn't want you to like watch you be victorious. But you're contracted to, to have this experience. You're contracted to do this. So somebody was going to be jealous of your contract. Jealous of your destiny. That's crazy, collective. Give me a, give me a, um, another one. Baby, so your grandma said, not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Yeah. They, look, they missed some steps. They failed. So whatever this was they was planning on doing, they was going to try to do this quick and they failed. Missing steps. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Look at that walking red flag karmic wheel this is a karmic see that's the thing let me say this because this man is on his way to the top this person was gonna try to make you miss some steps or try to trip you up to stop you from reaching the top of something right this person is a walking red flag this is a karmic they're stuck in a karmic cycle in their own life and they're gonna try to make you like trip you up or something to stop you from getting to the top yeah so they had to be escorted off the premises. For real. I heard a spiritual restraining order. Yeah, somebody's ancestors um, petitioned spirit or, or went to God and petitioned to get you a spiritual restraining order. Yeah, because this person had hidden motives. They cannot be around you. I don't know what this person thought about doing to you, fantasized about doing to you, or was hoping that something happened to you out of jealousy, y'all. Yeah. This is somebody who you shared a strong bond with, with rope of connection here. You had a real strong bond, a real strong connection to this person here. You really love this person. You really love them. All right? And this person had hidden motives the whole time. That is so sad. Can't make it up. Victory over your enemies. This person was a whole snake. Yeah. This was a whole snake. It says victory over your enemies. It says like the wisdom of Psalm 91 and 13, you're empowered to stand firm against the lion and the cobra, symbolizing your ability to conquer challenges when faced with adversity. Remember your innate strength in the promise of victory. With faith and bravery, you you are always destined to triumph. You're going to win anyway. I'm telling you, this is what this was about, Collective. This was about somebody trying to stop you from winning. Let me find it because here it is. You're contracted to be victorious in this lifetime. I don't know what per se is on this contract, but this is a contract of an earth angel. You're an earth angel, right? You have a, a earth angel's contract. So you're here to carry out certain missions here, certain sacred missions, kingdom business. So like I mean, hey, you you're gonna win. You're gonna be very big, very victorious. Game of very victorious. Okay, there's some things that you're gonna be blessed with for fulfilling this contract here. Somebody was trying to like block this. 
like maybe bind your money up. Somebody could have did like some spell work to bind your money up or they could have sent some type of evil eye that like slowed your finances up. Somebody kept sending you energy to slow up your money. Yeah, you see how he's stomping the head of this serpent? This person is a snake and you are stomping the eyeballs out this snake, okay? You are an earth angel. You come prepared. You have um, divine assistance and protection. You yourself is very strong spiritually here. It says, earth angels walk amongst, uh, among us, often unnoticed but profoundly impactful. To spot them, look for those who's pr who present who presence bring calm and act and who acts with kindness without seeking reward and those whose compassion uplifts and heals they are they are the everyday miracle workers in our midst transforming the world one good deed at a time yeah y'all out here doing good deeds taking care of taking care of kingdom business here just like an, an angelic presence here on this earthly realm here who has some type of major contract some major assignments, major deals. Somebody may sign like a, a, a record deal or with a major label or something like that. Or I don't know, that's just sidebar for somebody particular, but you gonna win. You're gonna be victorious. And this friend or lover or family member was a snake. They had hidden motives the whole time for you. Okay, this person's whole job was to stop you, block your blessings, stop you guys from being victorious stop you from fulfilling this sacred mission here as an earth angel and a star seed they jealous of you anyway because i mean star seeds normally are like the brightest out of the bunch okay you're like the brightest star and like star seeds are normally destined for a star energy anyway like you're gonna be seen no matter what even when you're not trying to be seen these people normally end up being famous okay these are normally like the like the ones who be celebrities for real or if like you know whatever they do they be like really really good at whatever they do so even if it's sports you're gonna you have like this i don't know like i can't even really describe it you're 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 you just have like a natural talent for stuff you see what i'm saying like you're a star so whatever you put your hands on you're gonna you're gonna outshine everybody naturally it just comes natural to you and the fact that somebody really tried to bind your finances up put you in a financial bind these very people are finna be in a financial bind collective and they're gonna be reaching out to you for help or trying to but they're not gonna be able to get through to you yeah because spirit has issued some type of spiritual restraining order um against this this particular person uh family lover friend whoever the hell this loser is tell me more Yeah, y'all could have went through like a little storm with the canaries call and the storm is over here. Yeah, spirit was guiding y'all the whole time with starlight guidance. You guys were being guided the whole time through some type of storm that somebody sent to you. This could have been actual spell work or this person could have just projected some type of um, financial instability to you. Somebody wanted to humble you with God complex in reverse. This person wanted to humble you because they think that you think that you all that. But you really don't. You can't help that you chosen. You can't help you a star seed. You can't help that you an earth angel. This person really wanted to like humble a, you, I heard a demigod. They really wanted to try to humble a demigod. Somebody who has like divine spiritual strength naturally. And now God is finna humble them. They finna look like a damn fool. I just want you to know this person's finna look so foolish. Yeah, because you finna get some, this bag. You about to get big money. This blessing is coming to you anyway. You guys were guided the whole time through the storm. The water is, is getting kind of rough out here in, on this card. But you guys are still, it's like, look at that, following the North Star. You guys were always guided by spirit. It says, in midlife storms, let the North Star and your inner spirit guide you to your purpose. Yeah, like the jellyfish admit adapt to adapt and shine in darkness trusting these celestial guides to lead you through troubled waters to your destiny this person was trying to do something to block your destiny or stop you from getting to your destiny something that you were contracted to do you're you're contracted to fulfill your destiny in this lifetime and that's that's my ice maker making a weird noise y'all i'm sorry 
I have a um, ice maker that I keep on my table that make like crushed ice or whatever. And it's making this weird noise. But yeah, you guys were contracted to fulfill to fulfill your purpose here. Like, like you were contracted to be a star, be in your North Node and to fulfill your life's purpose in this lifetime and be victorious at it and whatever else you do here. And somebody wanted to bind your money, stop your money, stop your blessings, stop what God is doing for you collective. And I see you stomping the heads off of these serpents. Good for you. Good for you. That is so crazy. Like, hoes make me sick. This is some jealous, envious for no reason. That's, this is for no reason here. Like, wow. You really gonna try to, like, play God and block, block somebody's destiny? That's what you gonna try to do? Look at that superstar. You guys are a star. Yeah. It says this energy signifies a journey towards significant recognition. Embrace your unique abilities and stay authentic as these as these qualities will guide you to fame. Hmm. What I say? I said star seeds are normally famous. Those are normally the ones that you see in the spotlight. That's just they can't help it. They're star seeds. They're supposed to be seen, you know. It says, your path is illuminated by your North Node, promising a profound and lasting impact. Let your true self be visible, for you are meant to shine in the public eye. That's just what I'm saying. Okay, you guys are not only meant to shine publicly, but awaken a lot of people as you go through your own awakening. As you awaken, you guys are going to awaken so many other people here. And this jealous karmic friend, lover, family, foe, whoever this is, was going to they were trying to do something to stop your soul mission here. But like the like the steamroller, you guys kept going. You guys were told spiritually to keep going, and that's what you did. And I am so proud of you guys. And let me tell you something else. You're gonna you're gonna meet your divine partner. You are you are on your way to meeting a super sacred divine connection here. Wow. You got a spiritual contract with this person here. These hoes gonna be so jealous about this. Okay, because let me tell you something. They tried to stop your money. They tried to do something to shake your confidence spiritually here. Because you're beautiful. you talented. Naturally gifted. Okay. I heard abuse beautiful for no reason. Handsome for no reason here. Talented without even trying. And they did all of this to try to stop or stop you from having something. I heard shock, shake your confidence. Yeah. But guess what? And if this was a lover, they did all this betraying you on to, to expedite you to this divine partner. Whatever this heartbreak is that this, this past lover gave you, this person was a karmic in the first place. But this only steamrolled y'all faster to getting in the arms of your divine partner here. And for some of y'all, I keep getting this. Your divine partner is a, is a celebrity. See, somebody didn't want me to say that. I almost stuttered. Somebody's divine partner is a celebrity or someone of great influence. Okay? And they are already awakened. They didn't do nothing but help you out. And all this is going to happen in divine time. And yup, divine feminine. All of this is going to get this. This divine feminine is going to have this anyway. Can't nobody stop it. And the empress, you got to be kidding me. And whoever this person is, if this is a lover, this person is emotionally unstable. And when they see you with your real divine partner after they try to shit on you and make you feel like you're unimportant to them, that your feelings don't matter, that they found somebody better than you, right? But then they were secretly jealous and competing with you, trying to like block your blessings, man. They are going to be so livid. Once they see you with your real divine partner and this is somebody that's better than them, this is somebody that's sitting in a position that they will never reach to in this lifetime or the next. And they're going to watch this person treat you and, 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 and see you as the divine feminine and the empress that you are and put you, exalt you and put you up on this pedestal publicly because this is someone that sits in the public. So they're going to, it's like the universe is going to literally force this person to see you be loved properly. This is crazy by somebody that's better than their dumb ass. Okay. Yeah. And this is somebody who you in separation with, who you've lived many lifetimes with this person here. This person is out of control. They're out of control. You have to like heal from this person with healing bath energy here. This person could have many, many options. Yeah. This is somebody who wanted you to block your roads and they tried to do something to block your roads, but they can't block your roads. Somebody, you and Papa Legba are real like, he loves you. This is somebody, okay, this is for somebody particular. 
all right so papa leg was a part of your lineage or something like that so he's always going to keep your roles open if your roles close up it's going to be because you did something to close your roles it's not going to be because somebody else tried to close your roles you're going to have many many options many many options like this new road or whatever this path if they did something to try to block it papa just put you on a new road or your ancestors put you on a new road or whatever you have many paths and they not stopping nothing they're just expediting getting you to your real true love your real divine partner expeditiously yeah look at that your real twin flame that's all they're doing they're getting you to your real twin flame or your real divine soulmate expeditiously and this is always look this was destined to happen any damn way. And now these same losers is going to have to watch you eat. Thou preparest a table, a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Psalms 23 and 5. Yeah, because I'm telling you, somebody tried to like put some type of stronghold on you. A hold on to you spiritually so that you would not have a clean slate. So that you won't be prosperous. You won't be abundant. But I swear they finna have to watch you eat. You and your new partner. You and your real twin flame. Your real divine soulmate. Your real true love. They gonna have to watch y'all eat. And that's just what it is. And meanwhile they gonna be burdened. Uh, everything that they wish for you is about to be placed on these people at one time here. And they gonna have to carry this load by themselves. Hmm. Yep. And that's why you guys are being was moved. Or these people was moved out of your life so that you and your kind heart wouldn't feel bad for them and try to help them. That's why. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little message. Let me know in the comment section down below um, how it resonated with you. Be good, do good. Peace.